everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating in my studio. Every day I share a video with you on YouTube in which I paint and create all sorts of nature inspired pictures. I also share loads of tips on how to make the most of your painting journey, interrupted fairly frequently by our family of dogs, cats, chickens and sheep. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone and welcome to my studio. Um, today I'm going to do uh, the second and the third of the uh, deco edged bookmarks that we did the other day. Um, we did this one with the elderberries and um, today I'm going to carry on and uh, we'll see how far we get but the idea is I was thinking that we would at least do number two which is going to be apples and uh, I'm going I've done a sketch here roughly of um, what I'm planning to do on here and then I'm so I'm going to draw that on here in ink and then color it in and um, these are the colors I'm going to be using I've got um, I've got here some bright red which I think is um, probably cadmium red um, this is quinacridone gold, this is burnt sienna, and this is olive green. And um, I'm not sure which brush I'm going to use at the moment. I'm um, in two minds, really. I've got some new brushes here which have been given to me by Zen Art. They are interesting. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't used them yet, to tell you the truth. They seem to be... They're quite light in weight, which is nice because... It's surprising actually how heavy a brush can be when, but then I weighed them and um, they seemed the same on my scales. So I don't know whether it's actually light or whether it's, it feels lighter, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I haven't tried them yet, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Won't inflict that on you probably. I could use my water brush or I might just stick with my, um, my um, draw well brushes. Gosh, I've used that one a lot the whole, writing has all worn off on there. Anyway, so I've swatched out some of these colours. They aren't anywhere near as vibrant. This is a um, Viviva colour, that orange, um, which just goes to show, doesn't it? This is quinacridone gold, which um, this is, and this is um, dusk orange in the Viviva colours. So you can see that um, these are not anywhere near as bright, and I think my eyes are getting a bit adjusted to the Viviva colours and uh, I'm going to be spoilt for all other paints at this rate. That won't do, will it? Um, so now the question is, should I um, do it in pencil first or shall I just plunge in and hope for the best? So I think plunging is usually a good idea, but before I plunge, I need to remember something, which is to put on my washi tape around the outside edge there because um, I don't want to go over the border. So we'll stick that down there like that. I'm going to push that to the side a bit. And then I can stick this to the table. So we'll just pop that on. That'll do, it doesn't need to be any better than that. And uh, I've got some, I've got a picture here of some crab apples and I've got some real crab apples too. So I should be able to figure this out. After all, it's just leaves, isn't it? Um, so uh, shall I start at the bottom? Yes, I think I will. I did last time. So I'm going to just draw in a uh, twiggy apple branch here like that and uh, just let that kind of wander across the page there and uh, the most important part of this is the robin which uh, is going to stand here and uh, keep your fingers crossed that I can actually get this at least passably right I'm being visited by the cat. The kitten is making his way over my desk. He's just discovered some 
Oh yeah, that'll do for the robin. Um, so uh, don't eat that, you'll give yourself hay fever. Don't eat that, no, that was, no, don't, in fact, don't do any of that. It's not a good idea, Arthur. That's right, there's a good boy. That's better. You can see it now. Um, right, so leaves. Let's not forget the little stems. And um, then here I'm going to put an apple. And um, another leaf, another leaf. And we'll put another apple. Arthur? Do you think you can do this better than me? Say hello to the camera. No, up here, look. Turn around. No, he's not interested. He wants to get involved in the pet. Oh, there we are. <laughs> I might have to put you away. I might have to put you in your box. You little pickle. Come on. Another leaf. Another leaf. And another one. And down here we want another apple. There we are, and then up here, let's have a branch coming down from up here. Somewhat distracting to have <laughs> a cat climbing about all over the place, but what can you do? And uh, yes, another apple down here, and a leaf, and a leaf, and a leaf, and I think. Just to match the other one, there was um, a couple of leaves coming out at the side here, so we'll just put in an apple and a few leaves. So I'm going to use my um, um, fairly small, I've decided I'm going to, oh no, that's not the right brush, here we go. Uh, number five, draw well. And let's pick up some brown. A little bit of green to make it a little bit darker. And uh, a 
just pop in the branches. And then we want some sort of golden colours for the leaves. And the apples are going to be a combination of quinacridone gold and red. So I'm just going to put the red in first on one side of each apple. And then quinacridone gold on the other side. Just drop the green in to the sketch to colour the leaves and it's nothing complicated. There we are. And then we'll just do the robin's chest nice bright red. Do his back. black which I hadn't got out so don't want to forget his wings. Sounds like a small elephant playing across the room. That's because there is a small elephant charging up and down. Mm. Somebody has got too much energy. So there we are, there's number two. And so that means we've got we've got two now. We've got the elderberries oh yes and I was going to say the other day when I did these after I'd finished I thought to myself I don't think I put enough berries on there so I've just gone in and put in a few more with pen and now I'm going to add some more in purple It's very true when people say, oh, you need to stand back from your painting and have a look at it from a distance. Not only distance in space, but a distance in time. And uh, often when you look at something the next day, it looks completely different. You notice something that you'd missed Mm. 
Well, how did I, how did I do that? And that's what happened with this. I looked at it and I thought, mm -hmm. nope, it hasn't got enough berries. Quite likely when I look at this later, I'll say to myself, oh, hasn't got enough um, apples, enough leaves. Probably hasn't. But anyway, so that's two. And then the third one is going to be um, blackberry. What was it? Blackberries, I said, wasn't it? I'm just reusing the tape, the washi tape. I think it'll stick easily enough. Twice. Didn't make it wet. So we'll need to use our violet, Windsor Violet, for this, otherwise the colours will be more or less the same, except you won't need the red. And um, so I'm going to draw in some blackberries, but I need a reference. So I've got my book here. I expect this has got blackberries in it. Blackberry 174. Well, that's no good. It's not, it's not a good enough picture, is it? anything in this book. Some of the people in England who uh, follow the channel might recognize this book. This is an amazing thing from the um, historical days when people actually uh, depended on books for their information. This was by the AA, which is like the AMA in America, the Automobile Association. And uh, it was an encyclopedia of British wildlife. All sorts of things in here. I suppose this is where my uh, love of nature probably started to be developed. And here we are, look, I've opened it up at the Bramble, the Blackberry page. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a funny thing. And a squirrel and an owl and deer and mushrooms and all sorts of things that we're going to be carrying on to paint. So that's perfect. That was just completely random. I did not do that on purpose. Um, so we'll put that up here. And now we'll draw a bit of ram uh, ramble. I need a piece more of that to hold it still. Cat is now dismantling the rug, the mat on the floor. I thought we should have left you to fend for yourself. Get that out of the way. Okay, so blackberries. I'm going to start with a, a biggish leaf because that's what we have here. And I'm going to put the veins in. stem there and behind we have the thorny thing that takes your fingers and makes them bloody 
and I will put another leaf here. And then we we'll have another one up here. Then let's put this little bird here. This is a gold crest. And I'm just going to try to copy. from behind. From behind the leaves. And let's put a blackberry in here. I know, I know this seems a bit strange, but it is true that the blackberry is still flowering even when it's fruiting. So we'll have a little flower there. Okay, and then just check that you can still see. And then up the top here, we'll have. Um, Um, let's have leaves coming up like that, perhaps. And then maybe we'll have a stem coming out from this side. And then from here, we just need something like that. Okay, so that's that. And I think I'll paint this with just a fairly soft blue, uh, green. This is olive green with a little bit of quinacridone gold. And we'll just uh,
the uh, branch is kind of reddish brown, so that will do well for that. Then we need a little bit of green at the top of the blackberry, like that. And then it'll be purple, obviously. These ones down here. Now this bird is kind of green too. It's a sort of bluish green actually. So put a bit of blue in with that. Although of course, because the paper has been, I painted green already on it. And then he needs some little bit of dark markings there. Keep him simple. Let's make the leaves down here turning gold. The flower has a kind of yellow in the middle and then here comes the cat. Hello Arthur. You're not making it any easier to concentrate. Say hello if you're going to be naughty. He's still very small. Okay, so I think that's done. I think that's finished. So we will take off the tape. Just need to punch a hole in the top there. So there are the final paintings. The bookmarks are all finished now. And as you can see, I have uh, done a little bit more to them than I did have done when, uh, when I left this before. And uh, it was just when it was dry, I thought I would go in and add a few extras. So I've carried on adding a few more of the elderberries there. Um, I've done a little bit of work with some white gouache and um, I've also uh, added butterflies on that one and on this one with the blackberries and the um, uh, what's it called a uh, gold gold crest was it yes the gold crest I have um, what have I done oh I've added dragonflies yes and on the apples we've got a couple of bees in fact three little bees uh, on there now just to make it look a little bit more alive and um, some examples of how you can put writing on them this is obviously you would um, actually write it on there properly in ink but this is just an example of the sort of thing you can do it could say this book or this bookmark belongs to dot 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 and or a slogan like garden bliss or something like i i love to read or whatever you know obvious things like that you can think of something much more interesting i'm sure and for the tag I saw one that a lady had done the other day. She had done this, uh, not this design, but the lavender one. And she put a marvelous um, metal, um, I don't know, eyelet uh, at the top here. She'd obviously got one of those eyelet punch things. 
uh, which was great and she'd put a real proper tassel like the kind of tassel you put on a graduation hat um, anyway it looked marvelous but I don't have any of that stuff lying around so I've just used some of my hand spun uh, yarn there that uh, my sheep have happily donated me so that's just to you know give it the idea of being rustic I guess um, so there we are that's that so if you enjoyed that have fun with it give it a try make a nice gift three bookmarks you could have three people who read together or read the same book at the same time have a set between them couldn't you or well, one other lady said that she used always three bookmarks in her bible which is really lovely so give me a like and subscribe turn on notifications if you wouldn't mind go to the channel and have a look and find out about our new channel membership which we've just started which is an optional extra for people who want to support the channel as it's growing and to become special family members of the channel so that's that then so i'll let you go now and uh, see you at the website maybe um, this doesn't have any sketches um, for it but there are lots and lots and we're just putting up some bundles especially one for christmas which will be coming up soon which you'll be able to um, buy a bundle, actually pay a very small amount, or you can have them free. We're leaving that open for you to decide. So go and have an explore, find out and see what you can see. So maybe I'll see you there. You can always drop me a line. So I'll say bye-bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>